Hey guys, so let's do some leather painting today. So I got this cute little wallet the other day and I felt like it could use some jazzing up still. Uh, it's got a really cute kind of like mock croc stamp pattern on it. And so for supplies, you'll need acrylic paints and I find these Angelus paints works the best. And you'll also need paintbrush and also a paint palette. I just find that acrylic paint never washes off so I just don't even bother, just let it dry and crust over and paint on top of it. Um, so you'll also need a ballpoint pen to draw the outline. Um, I just find the ballpoint pen is the best to make the outline. I tried pencil before but the pencil doesn't really show up on the leather and um, since the ballpoint pen is not like, like actually black when you paint onto the black leather it still shows up but it's kind of subtle. And if you make a mistake, um, you can paint it. The, the paint will cover it up. So even if you made a huge mistake, you can paint it over with the black paint and it will hide it. So that's really great. Uh, so for this rose illustration, so you can see that I did the rough outline of the rose at the little paper on top. It's a super rough outline. Um, so I just used three colors, the red uh, and the green. and in the green, I added also a little bit of white just to make it brighter against the black background of the leather. And also, I use a black color to kind of do the outline as well. Um, I find that it's best to use two coats. So you just need two coats to cover up the, just to make the paint more opaque. Just because if you just do one, one coat, it's not really opaque enough. So here I am doing the second coat. And the Angelus paints really helps with that because it's a lot tackier and thicker than regular acrylic paints. I think you probably, you I don't know, I've never tried it, but you, maybe you could get away with using regular acrylic paints, but I just find that if regular acrylic paint is just too thin, the texture, and it doesn't really stick onto the leather at all. It kind of like just beads up. Um, so maybe you could try like leaving out your acrylic paints um, so it gets a bit tacky, yeah. and then maybe doing a few more coats as well. product so I think for next I would definitely recommend using not a textured leather just like the regular smooth leather would make it so much easier for painting the little details and thank you so much for watching guys bye bye